put the whole thing in perspective, first of all, you have to understand the original sort of first wave of the Vancouver music scene was a DOA, the Quintessence Records Group, like a Pointed Sticks, and the Modernettes, and the Young Canadians. Um, and then sort of bridging the first wave and the second wave, you have the Payolas and the Duggan Slugs. Uh, wave that Images and Mauve was part of, which was the uh, synth wave of the early 1980s, included Images, uh, Mauve, E, which Glenn Nelson played in, and I Brain In, it was sort of part of that group as well. Uh, one thing that that scene had in common was the Disc Attack Love Affair on Seymour Street. Images were a band that hung around the club. And that scene was sort of defined by the music, which was synth music, fashion. Part of it was the, uh, the new romantic fashion, for want of a better phrase, that was going on. Uh, part of it was also the sexuality that was sort of coming through, androgyny, fetish, and it all came together within the Love Affair. Our influence was birth punk rock and, and and glam rock, like Queen and David Bowie and then like Sex Pistols and The Clash. It was kind of a mesh of those two influences. Human League, Duran Duran, you know, Spando Ballet, Fat Gadget, Kraftwerk, Liaisons, Dangerous, Wire. Pesh Mode, uh, Bill Nelson, uh, Japan. Music. You know, raves have never been done, yeah, like electronic music. Computers weren't even around, you know, when images first started. I was listening to a lot of styles of music like this, from, from coming from England mostly. So when I came here and all of a sudden, hey, wait a minute, here's a band doing this, which blew my mind in Canada that somebody was using all these synthesizers and they're buying Simmons drums and computers and sampling stuff. Everything was sort of the cutting edge of that time Images was using. Images. went to see an images show, it really was an event. Which, uh, which we, which we uh, played at several times, and most recently in uh, August of 2004. But the first time we played here was opening for Depeche Mode in May of 1982. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vancouver presents Images in Vogue live in our studio with their hit song, Lust for Love. It is hard. No Images else. made their first major video, uh, which was Lust for Love. And Doug Bennett of Doug and the Slugs directed that. Uh, we made that video before much music actually went on the air. Um, and that emphasizes the fact of how we understood how our information, in this case visual information, should be transmitted. So we made that video before there was even a Canadian network to broadcast it.
Definitely in Canada, they were the only band doing this style of music. Canadians to give away right now, images in vogue, and uh, this is kind of neat. It's the extended dance version of In the House, as well as uh, the regular version, single version of the holiday. Thanks to all people for voting for us. We appreciate it. And your choice for group of the year is Victoria. Sometimes things are going bad, and sometimes things are going really good. This is really good, thank you. In the 80s, uh, I would say that having a good video was even more important almost than, than playing live. Because uh, especially in Canada, you could reach so many more people. Fraser River uh, was shot on a raft with a bunch of boats, uh, you know, zooming around us, and we had a helicopter shot. It was, it was, you know, fairly big budget video for the time. Yeah, we were thinking of Apocalypse Now, the bridge scene, and yeah. the weary wrath of God. This your electronic music. Uh, I think they have a page. Um, History of Canadian popular music, they should have a page.